it's gonna happen. Just you watch. <laughs> like the morning sun inviting the dawn to break. Like the joy everyone it's Wednesday November 21st and I'm here to do another update for you guys oh man I just did slim and six for the fourth time this week um, I know in my last video I was like maybe I'll do it twice and then I'll go to the gym twice but I've just been feeling really inspired lately I've been doing the start it up which is simple but hard enough and it's short but long enough to get a good workout in. it's about 25 minutes of pretty intense calisthenics it's not like it's not like crazy hardcore like I've done Jillian Michaels DVDs before so if you have done those and you know what I'm talking about it's not that intense um, it's like isolating the muscle and then getting your heart rate up and moving that muscle and it's really good so today I decided I was going to try ramp it up it's a much harder program. I couldn't do the entire thing. It's about 45 minutes of more extreme, you know, hyperactivity, like moving your body, jogging in place, jumping jacks, um, like toe touches, like side crunches, and then there's a really hardcore ab program at the end, and then a really nice cool down. When I was feeling really tired and I, I couldn't continue with the exercise, I would just like march in place or I would just kind of take a sip of water and catch my breath for a minute because I'm going to show you a clip and although it looks really simple, you're just moving your body in such a way and then continuing to move like my arms were so sore. Hey everyone! I'm just getting ready to do my Slim and Six video. This is my fourth time doing it this week. Here's a little intro. Congratulations on finishing Start It Up. Yeah. And exhale down. Now reach it up and over. Breathing naturally. And four, three, two. Now knee up, arms up, reach. Now kick it point, arm side. Keep breathing, make sure your stomach's in tight. Squat, bicep, with the chest fly. So I want a big wide arc in those arms. Bring it low across the body. Really reach, get a good stretch on your side. Now fast, let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Slow it down, bicep, it's a lateral bicep, so really squeeze, seven and eight, let's march it out, <sighs> jog it out, ready for alternating oblique crunches, hands behind your head, it's opposite elbow to opposite knee, three, two, now hold it here, hold it here, let's go to side crunches, Anyway, so yeah, I've been doing really good with working out. I have to say I haven't been really good with my calories. I mentioned that Julia and I wanted to go down to about 1,300 calories a day. Well, each day I'm exceeding it by like 50, 100, just a little bit over. It's the food that doesn't count as food. You know, it's like coffee and drinking liquids, like fruit juice. I'm completely obsessed with almonds, and these are not my choice brand or anything. I like the Whole Foods kind. I like the ones from Trader Joe's. These ones I just picked up at Target. And every time I'm going grocery shopping or I feel a little twinge of hunger, I'll just grab a handful and chew them up really, really good. And usually it kind of helps me not feel panicked, like like I need to eat something. Or it makes me feel like when I do eat something that I will eat less and more controllably. So that's a great tip. You know, you might not really like the taste of almonds. But I have to say, I'm not really one who chooses to eat nuts in my spare time. I know that's... <laughs> 
I'm not the type of person to just kind of gra like gravitate toward nuts. I'm the type of person that gravitates towards chips. Like I've never really understood people who are like, oh my favorite snack is mixed nuts. And I'm like, what? I don't even really like trail mix all that much. So I have learned to like almonds more than I used to. Um, I don't really go and eat tons of them. Like I'm not tempted to just devour this whole bag. Like the fact that I've carried this whole bag around with me for a week and I'm about halfway through it is pretty incredible because I tend to have a problem with overeating things. Like these are the completely plain, no salt, no roasted, just raw almonds, which have no flavor really except for the almondy taste. Anyway, they're good, so I have to recommend this as a little snack for you guys. And if you don't like them, just buy a bag and try to eat a few each day, and the more you eat them, the more you're going to like them. So here's an update about the gratitude giveaway. If you don't know anything about the gratitude giveaway, you can go back a couple videos ago and I kind of introduced the idea. Um, but I'm going to kind of revisit what I'm giving away so that you guys have an idea. I know that I have a few new subscribers, so I really wanted to give them an opportunity to win this giveaway too. Um, so tomorrow is the last day to enter your name. If you want to win this giveaway, you need to write a comment below. Let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving, what you're, <laughs> what you're thankful for, you know, something like that. And then mention that you want to be entered in the giveaway. There's not a whole lot of people that are entered into it. I do have everyone's name written down who has already asked to be entered. If you're not sure if you've entered yet, you can still write your name down. I have everyone listed, so if I see a duplicate, I won't count it. You can just write a comment anyway. I'll be drawing the winner tomorrow night. I will write a personal message to you here on YouTube if you're the winner. And then I'm also going to mention who wins in my next update, which will be on Friday, which is my weigh-in. So you have two ways of knowing if you're the winner. I'm going to message you and I'm also going to put your name in the video on Friday. And I'm just going to quickly revisit everything I'm giving away. I added one more thing and so I feel like I have a nice little collective giveaway here. Um, so the first thing and most important thing is this audio recording of Take Back Your Life by Janine Roth. It's absolutely fabulous. Like I said in the very beginning when I introduced this gratitude giveaway, it's my dream that whoever wins this uploads it into their iTunes account and then does a giveaway of their own and passes this knowledge along to someone else because knowledge is a terrible thing to waste and I think that if we can pass it along to other people, it can be more beneficial. We could all be on the same page with weight loss. The second thing I'm giving away is this little notebook. It's a blank notebook and on the inside you can see where my logo is. Um, I kind of explain a little bit about it in the gratitude giveaway introduction, but um, I created this little this little book binding company and so I thought it would be kind of a cute addition because it's got utensils and it's just really kind of sweet. It's small enough to fit into your purse. You can take it with you. You can use it as a food journal. If you're an artist, you can sketch in it. You know, you can write whatever you want in it. You guys also know about the Zombie Gone. This is the room fragrance. Kind of smells like the perfect fall day. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be wonderful for this holiday as the weather gets chillier. You can just kind of spritz it throughout your apartment. You guys also saw that I'm including a little love spell. Um, it's um, the one fluid ounce eau de toilette. And the last thing that I'm going to include as of now, I mean I might find some things um, within the next day to include, but I'm also going to be including some of this Numi Holiday Herbal Chai Tea so wonderful. We use it at the, the spa that I work for and I was in the grocery store today and I was kind of looking for Thanksgiving stuff and I don't eat pumpkin pie like I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie so um, I got like a little slice for Ren and I was trying to figure out what I wanted for my special treat after Thanksgiving dinner and I really really enjoy delicious cups of kind of holiday flavored tea. So I have a couple that I really enjoy, but I thought that I would give this one a try. It's the Numi Holiday Herbal Chai, Warming Spices and Earthy Vanilla Rooibos. I don't know if I said that right. It's caffeine free, so you can have it at nighttime, because I bought myself a box of this too, and I thought I would get a box for you guys too. Um, 
I just kind of think it'd be really delicious with like some warmed up frothy soy milk. And also they had this amazing recipe on the back here for the holiday herbal chai souffle. And I have no idea how many calories is in this, but um, oh, it looks so good. So it even says, serve with vanilla ice cream and fresh raspberries. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, sounds so good. I probably won't do the ice cream and all that because you guys know that I'm trying to like really rock it for the next five weeks to try to lose as much weight as I can before I go home. But just this flavor combination, the vanilla and the warming spices, just kind of really like caught my eye. So I added this to the, the gratitude giveaway and I hope that you guys enjoy that. You guys should put your names in as soon as possible because I'm going to be drawing the winner tomorrow night. So make sure you do that. And here's the food for thought for today. <sighs> November 21st, moods. We used to allow our moods to determine what and how much we ate. If we were feeling good, charged up with enthusiasm, we were usually able to focus our energy on some activity other than eating. Perhaps being in a particularly good mood made it possible for us to stick to some kind of diet for a few days. When the bad moods strike, we invariably turn to excess food. We attempt to make those bad moods go away by eating in excess. Any sort of physical distress becomes a signal for food. Then, some of us found ourselves overeating in times of elation because we had no other way to express our joy. When we are committed to abstinence, we have a rock-like foundation for our eating habits which no shifting mood can destroy. No matter how we may feel at a given moment, we abstain from compulsive overeating. Moods change and pass away, but the abstinence remains. And the meditation is... Make firm my commitment to abstinence. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I have to say that there's one sentence in here that totally, like I literally was just talking to my therapist about this last week and that's how freaky it is. It's the sentence that says, we found ourselves overeating in times of elation because we had no other way to express our joy. I'm not the type of person to eat emotionally for a specific emotional trigger. For me, I eat emotionally when I'm feeling happy, when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling stressed. You know, it's not just times when I'm feeling sad. I definitely eat when I'm happy. And I feel like that is in relation to just growing up and celebrating with food, you know. I'm sure that I'm not the only one out there that celebrates with food. And then so what that had turned into for me was eating when I'm happy and going out to dinner is like this great treat. You know, like Ren and I, when we have date nights, we go out to dinner. And it's like this great fun thing because we don't really get to go out that much together. So it's like... I guess we could do other things, but just eating out has turned into this really exciting thing for me. And it, I don't know, it hasn't just turned into it. It always has been. Because when I was a kid, we never ate out. It just, my mom liked to cook. My dad liked to cook. They didn't like eating out at restaurants. And it was just too much money for a family of five. So they're really good cooks. So I don't know why we would go out to dinner. And I always idealized going out to dinner. My best friend growing up, her name was Mackenzie, her family ate out all the time and I was so jealous. I was so jealous that her family got to eat out all the time. Anyway, I think that it is really important to be aware of our moods because if we're aware of our moods, then we can better get a handle on why we are eating. I love the saying that we need to have a rock-like foundation for our eating habits. I feel like that, having that really strong view and strong purpose with your eating habits, I think that's probably how you maintain your weight when you get to the, the weight you want to be. Anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to spend a little time with me today. I hope that you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving. I know that I'm going to have a good day. I have to share with you this crazy thing. So um, Julia asked what I was going to be doing for Thanksgiving, and I was planning on volunteering. So last Friday, 
I put in requests at different places to be a volunteer and they all turned me away. Pretty much all the places that I was looking into said that they were overwhelmed with volunteers and that they didn't need any more help. <laughs> so okay, I mean, I think that's a little crazy to turn away people that want to help, but I understand. I don't want to just go and be standing around and not making a difference, and I definitely don't want to be the person that's like, oh, we'll just find a job for you and then end up like cleaning the shit out of the place at the end of the night. No, I really wanted to like serve people food. I really wanted to like get out there and wish them happy Thanksgiving and just kind of bring a smile and some joy to their day. And so I guess there's no room for that. You know, everybody is already signed up. I should have signed up way before last Friday. I should have looked into it. I mean, I knew that I wanted to do it and I should have just looked into it at the beginning of the month. But I guess that it's just not meant to be. So what I decided is that I'm just going to stay home. I'm going to catch up on homework. Our friend Amanda is doing something at her apartment. So maybe we'll go over. Um, Ren requested that I make this like gourmet mac and cheese. I've only made it once in the entire time that we've been together. Which is so funny that he wants me to make this specific thing. But we didn't really want to make a turkey. And I didn't want to really want to make mashed potatoes. And it's just like this whole extravaganza over over this amount of food for just two people. It hardly seems like it's Thanksgiving if I'm not going to have turkey or mashed potatoes or like the croissant rolls. I mean it's just not going to be my normal Thanksgiving. So what I'm doing is I'm making this macaroni and cheese from scratch. Um, not the noodles obviously but it's like the cheese sauce from scratch. It's got a little bit of like truffle oil. It's going to be incredible. And it's got like breadcrumbs so it's that really thick one that you bake. So I'm going to be making that tomorrow. And I'm going to be making like a big salad and I've got some string beans. So you know it's going to it's going to be good. I know it's not the healthiest of all choices, but that's what Ren wanted. And so I'm just going to make what he wants and I'm going to have a big salad and a little bit of macaroni and cheese and a lot of string beans. So there we go. I will see you on Friday for my weigh-in. And don't forget to comment so you can win the gratitude giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. She is unstoppable.